in and out is banning employee their employees from wearing masks. Is this a good is this a good rule or is it infringing on employees' rights? Because or or what's going on here? Evan, what do you think, man? So what's going on here, essentially just first, and I'll get to my opinion next. What's going on is in and out Burger, obviously the California chain, but it's in a lot of out West states, which you'll get to know in a second. Uh, they they have essentially said that, you know, we want masks off because we want our, cut. you know, it's not the pandemic anymore. But we want our customers to see our smiles. And, you know, it's kind of a big deal. Maybe it's muffled. Maybe you can't hear an order, right? Um, you know, it's kind of a big deal. So what, what's going on is in Arizona, Colorado, Nevada, Texas, and Utah, all five states that have some in and out burgers, uh, in and out is saying your employees are not allowed to wear face coverings. Not, not that it's a, it's an option or anything. You're not allowed to wear. And in California and Oregon, they have to wear company approved masks. Um, so they don't get to wear whatever mask they want. They have to wear, if they want to, for public health, I'm sure, you know, California and Oregon are, pretty liberal states. I'm, I'm sure they have rules in place for them um, for why they have to do that. But now but now they, they have to work only company approved masks. So uh, this is a big action. But in my opinion, first of all, in my opinion, I think it's good. I think the pandemic is, listen, if in and out's not for you, you can go work somewhere else, right? Um, if you would rather wear a mask, I'm sure there's plenty of jobs where you can wear a mask. But this is a customer service shop. So in my opinion, it's good. But my opinion is not the only opinion that matters. So what what else is, you know, what else is at play here? I think there was an incident in 2021 that proves this is all just justifiable. So in 2021, on the other hand, there was an in and out in San Francisco, which uh, an in and out chain in San Francisco, which decided that, you know, they were getting in trouble uh, by local authorities because of vaccine cards you know we remember back then you know everyone was trying to get the shot you know when could we get back to normal all that or whatever anyone you know everyone's version of normal is probably different back then but in some places you had to have a vaccine card to get in and this in and out in san francisco was in particular not checking those uh so san francisco ordered that it be shut down and five other ones so the in and out was very mad at this they were like well you know how are are we going to regulate that? And I completely agree. How are you going to re- regulate that? So if San Francisco has the right to require a vaccine card, I think it's perfectly reasonable that they could say, all right, well, pandemic's over now, no more masks. And again, is it a little harsh? Yes, I understand. Uh, and we'll get in a little bit. Our next question is about how they can, you know, without masks, what else can they do if a patient gets, or if a, you know, if an employee gets sick, uh, we'll cover that next, but but yeah, I think this is um this is completely justifiable, and uh you know, it's time to move past some of the pandemic stuff. So I think this is completely justifiable. But Jake, what do you think? Yeah, I think this is justifiable too. I think um you know it's I think it, it might might be a little harsh to bring masks all together, but I think Evan brings up a good point. I think the pandemic's over. I think it's time to move past all of it. Um, yeah. Okay, so our, what, what our other question was is what could they do? Like I said, what could someone, what could In and Out Burger do if an employee gets sick now? Because you're essentially you're saying you can't protect yourself. Again, there's a little debatable how much masks do, but they do help to an extent. That's proven. Um, yeah. So what could they do to protect themselves? Uh, I think one is paid sick leave right away. Like, so if you get sick, you know, and they have to take a couple of days off, maybe it's a week if it's serious, you pay that. You pay them for that week, right? Uh, you, they don't get, they don't get unpaid. I think that's probably the best solution for this. I, I don't know what else you would exactly do. Like, you know, maybe if an employee just needs a, like, I don't know if they're feeling a little woozy, woozy on the job, they can take a seat or something, but paid sick leave seems like the most um, important thing to cover this. And one more point, you know, you got to remember in and out is a company. They're not, they're not politicians. Like politicians can just say, well, I want to do it this way, or I want to do it that way. And then they just follow it as a company. You have to like, I highly doubt in and out burger is like some like Republican operative, right. That is trying to ban masks on purpose. No, they have a lot of stuff that they have to consider as a business. You have to look at it from both sides. So you ban masks, that's fine. But then, you know, you have to worry about if someone gets um, sick. So I'm sure they do have paid sick leave, but anyways, as a business, you don't really get to pick one or the other. You have to balance a lot of stuff. So um, I can kind of really understand what, you know, In-N-Out Burger is trying to do. But anyways, 
Uh, what about you, Jake? Anything else you think they could do? Or yeah, I don't know. yeah, just basically that's that's all they can do, and I think that's all they, I think that's all they can do. Um, you know, the banging mask is obviously a big um big decision. So, uh, as a and as Evan said, you know, this company has a lot of stuff to decide on. 